My name is Chris and today is day one of me being on dialysis. Uh, so this has been a journey for the past couple of years um, getting up to this point and today I finally start hemodialysis at hospital um, but I've no idea what this is going to feel like. Uh, I understand what the mechanics are, exactly what it is they're going to do to me exactly what's going to happen um, but I've no idea how I'm going to feel um, I've no idea how I whether it would make me feel any better the way I currently feel physically inside uh, whether I'm going to feel tired or sick um, and I know that I've searched online and not found many resources that of people telling me this so I thought this might be a good experience to record and hopefully some of you viewers who may yourself be in pre-dialysis or starting dialysis or have just learnt that you have chronic kidney disease and want to learn a little bit more about what the future may hold will find my experiences useful. Um, so this will be the first of a set of videos and we'll go through the whole process over the next few videos and talk about what's gone on in the past and what's led me here but at this point this is it uh off to hospital i go and let's uh i'll see you there so i assume you've been introduced to hemodialysis by your renal team and it's been decided that this is the right course for you so this is a dialysis machine this is a stock photo and these things look like they're better suited to a science fiction novel uh with all the tubes coming out everywhere um, but really the basics is that this does the job of your kidneys but does it uh, while the blood is outside the body um, and I'm not going to go into the mechanics of it at this stage because I assume that's been done uh, but if you would like me to um, drop me a note in the comment in fact if there's anything you'd like me to cover drop me a note in the comments and I'll endeavour to cover them as best I can but in the meantime back to what happened next or didn't well I made it to the ward ready for my dialysis um, but it looks like it uh, won't be today because they can't find my vein um, I'll explain that one because of the type of fish that I have uh, in a later video but um, we'll be back with a later attempt uh, sometime in the next couple of days So, five days later, here we go again. Uh, so, the problem last time was that in trying to needle my veins, um, they couldn't locate them. We didn't have the ultrasound access team on call uh, to come and help them out because this is the first time. Uh, it's always tricky. Um, but they're going to be here today. So, uh, hopefully this time. Now, I can't actually show you the needling on camera. Um, one, just in case they get it wrong, you're just going to see me getting stabbed repeatedly. Uh, but also privacy of the nurses um, uh, and their professional integrity. Let's uh, not going to do that. So um, hopefully uh, the next time you see me, I'll have a couple of tubes in my arm. Here we go. Uh, it's worked. Uh, as you can see, uh, the tubes in my arm uh, successfully managed to needle me. And I've been on this machine now for just over half an hour. Um, I'll be on for a total of two hours today. Um, they will increase that gradually with future sessions, um, eventually up to as much as four hours if needs be. Um, what does it feel like? It doesn't feel of anything really, um, apart from the very sharp needles. Um, which I don't like. I'm not a needle person with a big bush. Um But at the moment it feels fine. They said that I might expect to feel maybe perhaps a little bit nauseous, but we'll see. At the moment I'm okay. Uh, I've been given a sandwich. Um, nice tuna mayonnaise sandwich, good for the NHS and a cup of tea. Um, so, so far so good. So, um, yeah, see how I'll get on and uh, I'll speak to you at the end. 
uh, spoke too soon. Uh, things were going well, but not long after I'd finished that video, um, machine alarm, and uh, I'd had what they have called a blow. Uh, um, this is apparently quite common for new dialysis patients, um, and it's, it just pops. So um, uh, this happens. Um, they've stopped it for now. After an hour, I've lost a litre of fluid. Um, come back on Thursday. Um, in two days time and we'll do this all again uh, and we'll see how we go from there but uh, obviously it's my bruise uh, a little bit um, there's some cream uh, to apply for that and we'll see how that goes um, so but so far so good um, doesn't really hurt that much don't really feel too sick so we'll see how we get on so here I am back home, it's a few hours after I finished my dialysis. In the end I was on the machine for just over an hour and uh, in that time uh, they got just over a litre of liquid from me and they worked it out because they weighed me before I started and weighed me at the end and obviously the difference um, uh, give or take the cup of tea I had um, and the tuna sandwich is how much fluid uh, came off through the dialysis process. Um, on the whole, I feel not tremendously different. I had a little bit of a headache um, and apparently that's fairly normal. Um, I was also quite hungry, which perhaps is a good sign because my appetite has been... Um, quite suppressed uh, in the end stages um, up to now so um, we'll see how I get on tomorrow um, and then the day after that I'm back again for my next dialysis session hopefully I'll stay in the machine longer and I'll let you know how we get on in the meantime if you want to leave any comments if you've got any specific questions um, Please drop them in the fields and uh, I'll see what I can do for you. Okay, take care.